Hey water signs and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not all messages will resonate with everybody, so just use your best judgment and your own intuition to take from the message what is meant to be yours um, and leave what doesn't. Don't get caught up on the gender of the cards as we all have masculine and feminine energies and the roles can be vice versa. So, all right, let's get started for our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for today in love. I am using the Tarot of Sexual Magic, um, and it will be clarified with the Gypsy Tarot um, deck. So, all right. Cancer, you guys are um, have the Strength card. Pisces, you guys have Temperance. And Scorpio, you have the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Fool. Nice. Clarified with the Sun. I'm taking it just because they're both major arcana. Water signs, you have a huge... You have a huge relationship going on here with all major arcana. Scorpio, if you are a Sag, Scorpio uh, Cusper, they had the Queen of Wands, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius that is your perfect vibrational match. Just as a side note. Um... But new beginnings, taking a leap of faith, following um, your intuition, following your inner guide to um, to somebody that you are very um, sexually attracted to, and um, for it looks like for the majority of you uh, romantically as well. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, and chemistry is clarifying that. So most definitely, um, you guys are dealing with with some big love energies here for uh, today. So, like I was saying with the fool, this is uh, something like you're surrendering to love. The magic action of love all in itself, it totally frees us from uncertainty. So, just as if by magic, you are having that uncertainty removed from your life. Um, you truly view this person that you're dealing with as like... Um, like you guys are mirroring souls. Uh, yeah. It's like. It's like you can't quit thinking about this person. Um, you think of happy times that you guys have together when you're apart. And you're going to re reach a state of union. And lasting happiness with this person. Taking that leap of faith. Removing all that uncer uncertainty. Removing all that confusion. And just knowing that this person is a part of your soul. This person is um, somebody that you want to build a life with. You want to build a future with. And it's going to be a long-lasting union. So go ahead and express your love. The attraction here is real and it is mutual. Cancer, you guys have the strength card. So this is all about... Um, It's like trying to get a handle on your emotions, trying to figure out what it is you truly want, um, trying to become the master of your own emotions, um, trying to dominate your own thoughts and, and feelings, um, trying to wrestle with your own inner wants, needs, and, and what you're trying to um, accomplish. You could be starting a new connection with somebody with this fool, and you're worried they're going to hurt you. But it's okay to go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Um, the connection you feel is real here. Um, cancers. One card of this one. 25. Wow. This is your lucky. I mean, this person is, I mean, the four-leaf clover. That's all about luck. It's all about, this is all about, the divine is protecting you right now. You are, you are, Luck is most definitely on your side, Cancers, um, and you're truly on the right path. You're you're on your way to home. You're on your way home. You're on to on your way to uh, the relationship that you dream of, that you want, that you um, that you deserve. And truly, 
removing all the uncertainty, removing all of the doubt um, by you just taking that leap and and allowing your emotions to be felt, allowing your emotions to be um, known. So go ahead and express your love, Cancer. It's this is this person is you're on the right path heading home because this person is like a mirror to your soul. Um, this most definitely is a soulmate for you, um, Cancers. All right, <clears throat> Pisces, you guys have Temperance, which is um. It's like a, it's like filtering. It's friendly, but it's cool relations. It can be warmed up, but you know you got to put a little work into it. It's like it's gonna spark a desire though that's been um, like stagnant or stuck, and it's gonna restore harmony within the relationship. So it you know remove that uncertainty. You are on the right path as well, and this is gonna start moving in the right direction. Um, once again, uh, this is a lasting union for you guys using also, um, magic to balance your, or not magic necessarily, but just using, um, the time to find your own inner balance, to find your own inner peace. Um, some of you could be using magic, but. Uh, you could be worrying that somebody else is trying to take your person away, um, which they may possibly be trying to do, but um, that's not the case uh, for a lot of you because there's it's not. This person is there. This person is waiting. So release that uncertainty. Release that doubt because they're not, you know, they're not being a rat. They're not. Nobody is leaving. Nobody's stealing. Nobody's like stealing your heart. Nobody is you know, just to break it. Nobody's trying to steal your man. That's what I just heard. My guy, it's no one's stealing your man. So some of you may um, be worried about that, but um, this is going to come back together in a very perfect, balanced way. This new beginning for you guys, um, this is a new beginning. You could have been broken up. You could have had problems in the past, but not anymore. This is coming together, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. We got Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. All of you water signs are dealing with fire signs today. I'm not seeing anybody else. Um, and then we also have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries there on the bottom row. So most definitely it's all fire. Um, most definitely. All right, Scorpios. You guys have the King of Wands, which is all about embracing somebody so closely. It's the commitment that's important. It's the conquest that derives from that willpower to get through anything it's mutual determination um and it's offering yourselves to each other it's being vulnerable it's opening up it's starting a relationship on a whole new level with that uh fool it's definitely removing any uncertainty from you um or your thoughts and the sun is shining and illuminating the way um, visualizing the two of you together is bringing this um, back together. If you've been in a like separated, if not, um, this is just making your uh, commitment that much stronger. 36, hitting the jackpot. Um, since the full moon, this uh, connection is becoming stronger and stronger. The chemistry is pulling the two of you together. And you're most definitely, um, you're most definitely, this is your jackpot win. This is the person that is going to treat you good. It's going to who they're going to, I mean, invest in you. They're going to most definitely take care of you in other ways than just monetary, but they're really, they're really all about you. They're really all about moving forward together. Um, and, and really just being your partner in life in such a strong loving way they keep you close because that's the only place they want you they want you close um and you can tell it in the way they communicate you can tell it in the way they hold you they can you can tell it in the way you you are ma magnetically drawn to them when the two of you are not together even if you're just away for a day like how good it feels being brought to, back together because cuba zero definitely hit you here as well as them so very positive weekend or very positive daily reading for you. Water signs dealing with fire signs, most definitely. So 
All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. I got no rules, I count them.